ஓம் ஸ்ரீ கணேஷாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சரஸ்வத்தியாய நம ஓம் ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நம ஓம் சமஸ்தஜனக்கல்யாணே நிரதம் கருணாமயம் நமாமி சின்மயம் தேவம் சத்குரும் பிரம்பவித்வரம் ஓம் ஸ்ருதிஸ்மிருதி புராணாம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நமாமி பகவத்பாதங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் ஹரி தன்னாஷ்டகம் கிவ்ஸ் அஸ் தி விஷன் ஆஃப் எ தன்ய புருஷ தி ஒன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் அட்டெண்ட் வாட் யூ கால் தி ஃபைனல் பி ஆட்டிடியூட் டோட்டல் பிளெஸட்னஸ் டோட்டல் ஃபுல்ஃபில்மெண்ட் இன் லைஃப் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் சீன் அட் வேரியஸ் லெவல்ஸ் பர்சன் ஃபீல்ஸ் that he dhanya from worldly standpoint and all that so acquisition dispassion renunciation desiring for knowledge realization of that truth and sweetened by devotion to god these are various levels of dhanyata so the first shloka says tad jnanam பிரசமகரம் யத் இந்திரியாணாம் தஜேயம் யத் உபனிஷத் சுனிஷிதம் தே தனியாபூவி பரமார்த்தேஷாஸ்து பிரமநிலையே பரிபிரமந்த வி ஆ வெரி யுனிக் டெஃபினேஷன் ஆஃப் நாலேஜ் நாலேஜ் இஸ் தேட் விச் குவாய்டன்ஸ் தி சென்சஸ் தி மீனிங் இஸ் the sense organs by very nature are extrovert in the sense their job is to perceive the world of objects uh, the sound color taste touch form and all that so it's all right that is their function but when our mind indiscriminately goes with them uh, and does not know where it should go where it should not go then it just goes and goes far far away from oneself you know in the worldly plane also what you find some person mentally disturbed and lives in his own world what we say this person has lost touch with the reality and now we are getting more and more to what called virtual reality and our own projected realities so here also already we are in the empirical world which is projected in that again we project our own things and we are so worried and so particular to remain in contact with this world so in 36000 feet height when the plane is flying people feel very unhappy that they cannot keep in touch with the world and on and if want to a call is miss bobraham i miss the call i miss the call they want to remain in touch with this but what about your touch <laughs> contact with your own self you know when the plane flies as long as it remains in contact with the ground air traffic control and all that everything is fine and but if that contact is lost only recently one big crash happened in china also they are finding out ha huh? they say no it lost touch lost contact and where it went so how important it is to to remain in contact with the base other we are lost and that's what is happening this sense organs it is not their fault because they are meant for the but our mind just goes indiscriminately where it should go doesn't know ah 
Because satsang also, if you go, the satsang will bring your mind to yourself. Huh? But otherwise, you will go. That's why he said, Tadnyanam Prashamakaram Yad Indriyanam. That means, true knowledge is that which quietens the senses, means it helps the senses to come back to its own source. That is called true knowledge. How it will happen? So the object of knowledge must change. If we just, ob our object of knowledge is this world only, it will go there. But we should know what is the object of knowledge. Tad nyayam. Nyayam. See, grammatically, nyayam means anything which is knowable. That's called nyayam, which can be known. But here, nyayam has got a different meaning. See, so many knowable things are in this world, which can be known, but need not be known. Huh? It's not necessary. Can be known. Hmm. Want to know. Need to know. But here, nyayam is what is got to be known. That is called nyayam, where there is no choice at all. So, nyayam, grammatically, any object of knowledge is nyayam only. Whether it is physics or chemistry or mathematics, anything or that. Everything is knowable. But nyayam is without knowing which. Your life is not fulfilled. That is called nyayam. Therefore, we say, yad upanishatsu nishchitartham. The determined theme of the Upanishad is the real thing to be known. That's why in the Upanishad, Vedanta Vidyana Sunishchitarthaha Te Parimuchanti. Those who realize what is the truth that is revealed by the Upanishad, huh, and they are liberated. In the Bhagavad Gita, is very beautifully said. Bhagavan said, Nyayam yattat pravakshami yadnyatva amrutam ashnute. I will tell you that Nyaya was to realizing which man attains amrutam immortality means fearlessness. Absolute fearlessness. So that which gives you that absolute fearlessness is the Nyaya was to. Otherwise, all the senses will not be quite empty. They will just go on and on and on and on. Uh, life after life, it will go on. So, what is the ascertained theme? Upanishad say. Every jiva has got a feeling that he or she is only limited, finite jiva. But Upanishad says, this is your not absolute reality. This is not your absolute nature. You are not a miserable creature. You are Ananda Swarupa. Infinite Ananda Swarupa. It's called, technically called, Brahmatmaikya Bodh. The oneness of this yourself with the infinite reality. That is the main theme. And so then, you see, from finitude, that person becomes limitless. Huh? So, Vedanta's theme, it, it, it is so astounding, huh? so sublime, the total transformation of life. It is not a poor man becoming rich or illiterate man become educated, not that much. A finite jiva becomes totally liberated from all bondages. That is the theme. So when you say knowledge is that which quietens the senses, knowledge of which object will do this? Knowledge that Atma Swarupa Jnanam, which is revealed by the Upanishad, which is the Pramana valid authoritative means of knowledge for this. That 
and once you know then the true knowledge is gained tad jnanam prashamakaram yad indriyanam tad niyam yad upanishad su nishchitartham te dhanya bhuvi paramartha nishchiteha blessed indeed are those people who have fulfilled their life how how they are paramartha nishchiteha means all their ehi activities are rising from this determination and realization of the paramartha paramartha here means the absolute truth is called paramartha param param not limited artha that which is desired by people because you want permanency everywhere or not even in ordinary world also we want permanence or not suppose you have got a rented house or pata nahi when they will ask me to vacate i must have my own house then they will not ask me to vacate or anything the source of income i should have permanent source of income i job i make and go on changing and all that that's all right but the source of income should remain all the time uh i should always live i should always remain but sometimes we know sometimes we realize that all the time i cannot remain it is my name should be there you know so in olden days you know, whenever somebody asked what is your name we had to tell our name father's name and then our son name now nobody wants to say all that are it mera naam to bata de tell my name at least in the name i should remember all the time this absolute paramartha vastu those who have realized and all their activities rise from there see the paramartha nishchit hai is a very beautiful phrase it indicates the nature of the siddha purusha also and how sadhaka should be there both as far as a wise person is concerned all his activities rise from there only but a sadhaka is told that whenever you have to undertake any activity you must think will it help me realize my absolute truth goal that's called paramartha nishchiteha all the cheshta all the sadhana everything should be such it should be geared towards realization of truth therefore sadhakas as far as the realized person is concerned it will be like that to put it in this simple way ignorant man's all actions are generally for gaining happiness and realized person they rise from happiness fullness completeness paramartha nishita because they have realized that so our also attempt must be how to remain focused and then geared towards that we generally think will it help will it help me monetarily will it help me creating more contacts and clients and customers and patients and all that you know Huh? If it's a doctor, he wants patients. You know, should come. Nobody is coming. You know, I am patiently waiting. <laughs> huh? Uh, the the shopkeepers and all of them want customers. Huh? And other lawyers and all they are wanting clients. And airlines they are wanting passengers. Nowadays they new they don't call passenger. guest they are calling him guest acha but they have to pay of course <laughs> dear passenger no 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 dear passenger dear guest 
اچھا یو آر آور گیسٹ یو مے گو آن چینجنگ دی ورڈ بٹ اٹ مین دی سیم اونلی ارے ڈاکٹرس آر ویری پیکولیئر ایف سم بڑی ہیز گون ٹو دیٹ پرسن ونس یو ایز اے پیشنٹ دے ول آلویز انٹروڈیوس دیٹ پرسن از مائی پیشنٹ یو ہیز ناٹ پیشنٹ آلویز ناؤ از اے ہیپٹی ہیوج مین اینڈ ناؤ دا سیل یو آر فائن ہیز مائی پیشنٹ ہاؤ کین بی پرمنٹلی پیشنٹ اونلی اینی وے سو وٹ آئی مین پرمارس نشچت سو اور ایکٹیویٹیز مسٹ بی گیئر ٹوڈس ریئلائزیشن آف دس وائز مین سے آلریڈی اٹ از دیر دیٹ فار دے دھنیا دیر سینسز آر کوائٹ اینڈ دے ہیو ریئلائز واٹ از دا اوپنشت نالج سو دے فار اٹ از رائزنگ فرام ہیپینیس فلنیس Ours are for gaining and all that. But now we should say, for realizing this truth, my activity is. Then it is good. What about others? Shesha stu brahmanilaye paribrahmantaha. Shesha stu. All others are roaming about, you know. Because they are seeking their all fulfillment in these things, that thing. Nothing wrong, you know. Sooner or later, they have to come here only. Huh. Sooner the better, those, those who realize that, huh, ki that you know, what, what, what I am doing is going over here, there. So they feel that there is something wrong. But all have to come to this final realization of that. Whether you like or not, know it or not, believe it or not, appreciate it or not, accept it or not, but ultimately have to come there. So better do it now only. Nice shloka, no? Tad jnanam prashamakaram yad indriyanam Tad jnayam yad upanishad sunishchitartham Te dhanya bhuvi paramartha nishchiteha Sheshastu brahmanilaye پری بھرمن دہا دے میں بھی ویری ایجوکیٹڈ لٹریٹ بزنس دیز دیٹ ڈوئنگ آل دیٹ اینڈ ایٹ دیٹ گیون ٹائم دے وین دے اچیو سرٹن تھنگس دے فیل دیئر لائف از ویری فلفلڈ اینڈ آل دیٹ بٹ ایف دے آر ویویک از دے ول ریئلائز دس از ناٹ دی فائنل گول آل دس از دیئر ویری نائس بٹ ناٹ فائنل You know, so many matches are held, you know. So eliminating rounds are there. So many eliminating round, 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 round. Huh? Then it comes the semi-final. And then only the final. So even if you win earlier, you know, but this is not the... Uh, I have to win the Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Achha. اور ٹینس والوں کو سب کے الگ 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 ہیں تو اسپریچل مائنڈ ادھیات مچیتا دین اٹ از ڈفرینٹ نا وہ کوشچن کوشچن ہاؤ دی دے ریچ دی اسٹیٹ آف بلیسڈنیس ون وے اور یو کین آس دس وے How to reach this? Either you can say, how did these wise people, they reach that state? Because that itself is guidance for us also. Or you can ask in this way, now, what should I do? From where to start? It's very inspiring, you know, all this when you hear about the Dhanya Purushas and all that. how to do, what is the first step? Huh? Level one, level two, level three. <laughs> the courses are there. You know? Level one, level two. So 
सो नाउ कम दी सेकंड श्लोक आदव विजित्य विषयान मद मोह राग राग द्वेशादिशत्रुगण महावृत योग राजा धन्या Vicharanti, Vicharanti where? Vanagrihe, Vanam, the forest itself is house for them. Vanam, Vanagrihe, and you know they enjoy the company of dear beloved wife. What is dear beloved wife of them? Paratma Vidya Kanta Sukham. <laughs> oh, I thought they are having Kanta, you know. See, if a person has got the company of beloved one, feels very happy, no? So here, Kanta Sukham, what Kanta? Paratma Vidya, Brahma Vidya. Oh, that is their Kanta. Ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> dhanya Purusha, they are Dhanya indeed, who live in the forest. And the forest itself is a house for them. And they have got the happy company of the beloved wife in the form of Brahma Vidya. They don't need any other kind of food. Oh. No other thing required. But how did they get that? Adau. Adau in the beginning. Vijitya. Vijitya having conquered. Adau in the beginning having conquered. What? Vishayan. Vishayan, sense objects. Oh. So like Alexander, I will have to go on invading all countries to conquer all the Vishayas. <laughs> huh? All these dictators and all, all of them go all over the world to huh? win this kingdom, that kingdom, that and, and get all of them. That is Vijitya. We'll see. Adau Vijitya Vishayan. Then, Madha, Moha, Raga, Dvesha, the Shatruganam. And then conquering the host of enemies. There are many. Shatru. Shatru means the one who troubles you is called Shatru. Shatruganam. And how many are there? Are Baba, many are there. Mada, Moha, Raga, Dvesha, etc., etc. <laughs> Adi. They all are related to each other. Satyunam. So we have to conquer the objects. We have to conquer all the Shatruj and Avrutha, Yoga, Rajaha. Avrutha means those who have brought. Yoga Raja under their control, the kingdom of the yoga. Jnatva Matam Samanubhuya and having very well realized the Matam. Matam means teaching also. And Matam means the truth that is revealed by the Upanishad. Huh? Bhagavad says the Gita, Yeme Matamidam Nityam Anutishtandi. Those who follow my teaching, they are also liberated from Karma Bandhana. So, Matam is a teaching also. And Matam means what is realized, the truth. So, realizing that truth, someone who is very well experiencing, Paratma Vidya Kanta Sukhama. You know, I was so inspired and motivated to reach the state of blessedness. But the very second shloka, you have said so many things. You have put 100, uh, what you call, buckets 
of cold water on all my enthusiasm kitni cheeze bol rahi conquering sense object conquering all the enemies getting the yoga rajya ha huh. i think i am okay as i am <laughs> you are okay all right if you think you are happy as you are but one by one we will see one today first we will see only this much what is the meaning of conquering the sense objects it is not that looting plundering or invading or by proper means also working hard and acquiring money and then get so many objects that's not called conquering conquering means conquering our dependence on the sense object that the sense object cannot make us dance to their tune that is called vidyatya i can't sleep sleep you know without my pillow so that pillow is binding you now and that's why some people you know, overnight stay somewhere four five suitcases they have to carry because without this they can't without that they can't without that they can uh, so they are conquered by the sense objects only you know so morning tea or coffee how can you start your day so wherever i go you know i take all that uh, kitli and uh, powder sugar milk this that oh, wow. can't start you can't start my day how can you start your day i am giving simple ha huh? because there are so many people they depend upon many kind of things huh? this our bondage to this sense object that without this i can't live without this i will not happy without this it is incomplete what is there that's why it is said vivikta desha you have to go and live in all alone without all paraphernalia <laughs> that is called conquering conquering our dependence on them for our comforts people are there without having tea coffee they can't go to their toilet also ha uh, this is a fact also could kitna dependence hai so i mean don't use such exam what, what but fact is then then only you will understand what is the meaning of vishaya and vichitya without this i can't sleep also without this i cannot get up also why why without alarm clock you cannot get up no no i can't get up and <laughs> dependence dependence because we are not utilizing our manas shakti therefore yantra shakti all yantra 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 everywhere <laughs> today this much is enough the meaning of vijitya vishayan so the sense object should not make me dance to their tune without you also i can live so many people rich people depend upon their servants you know and if the servants go tell i am going oh no 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 or no, without you how well as the servants are so clever they come to know some guests are coming to their house then only they go at that time om namo narayanaya om namo narayanaya om namo narayanaya om namo narayanaya 
ओम नमो नारायणाय 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 श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की श्री सद्गुनाथ महाराज की ओम पूर्ण मद पूर्णमद पूर्ण पूर्ण उद्चते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्यते ओं शाति शाति शांति हरि ओं श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं 